In today's video, we are going to share our review of Jboard to see whether or not it's the best job board builder in 2024. And in this video, we're going to share what Jboard is, why you might use it, and we're going to go over some of the features and pros and cons of the platform. We'll also compare it to some of its competitors to tell you which one is the best. We'll leave a link down below in the description to Jboard. And if you use our special link, we do get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you. This will give you a 14 day free trial to Jboard and using the link really helps out the channel so thank you so much in advance let's start off with the purpose of jboard it was actually created in 2021 to improve the job posting and recruiting space jboard is an amazing tool that doesn't require any code or the installation of any software to have your job board up and running let's talk a little bit about the function of jboard jboard allows you to create a landing page for all of your job listings it's an extremely professional look that you'll see here in a second the point of this is if you're a recruiter rather than having your jobs listed all over the internet on linkedin and Indeed, you can have them all in one space on one website on a platform like Jboard. This is just going to enhance the experience for your user and create a more professional feel around your job listings. There's a bunch of other amazing features that we'll show you here in a second in the platform, but one of them is email templates. They have a bunch of different email template options that you can choose from. In terms of target audience, Jboard can serve a wide variety. Whether you're an individual recruiter, a small business, or a large enterprise, Jboard's going to be a good option for you. But the people or companies that are going to benefit from this are larger ones that have multiple job listings. Jboard is really meant to host multiple job listings on one page in a really professional way. So if you're a recruiting agency or a business who's just looking for a lot of really great talent, then Jboard is going to be a great option. Let's do a quick glance at some of the main features in Jboard. The first one is customization options. There's really so many different things you can customize within Jboard. And one of the really neat features about it is that it has this scraper tool. The scraper tool or job aggregation tool is going to allow you to go on a website and scrape all of the listings of jobs off that website. This is going to save you so much time from doing it manually, and it's a really neat feature. Also, Jboard gives you the option to charge for the service inside of their service. So if you're going to give it to other people to use, then you can charge them for it. On Jboard, you can translate your listings into any language that you desire. Jboard supports 136 countries, so very likely yours is going to be on this list. And the currencies that are allowed are the US dollar, the euro, the Canadian dollar, the Great British pound, the Australian dollar, the Japanese yen, and much, much more. Let's talk about some of the integration features of Jboard. You can easily connect LinkedIn and Indeed. And it's also very easy to transition your current job board over to Jboard. You can do this in less than an hour and all the customer service team needs at Jboard is a list of your subscribers. One of the main selling features of Jboard is the fact that you do not have to use code to create your board. Also, they have an amazing mobile responsiveness as well as user experience. As you'll see in a second, the platform is very streamlined. It's super easy to use and very intuitive. So go ahead and click on that link down below in the description. We're going to walk through the platform a little bit, show you some features and then talk more about about Jboard and why we think it's one of the best platforms you can use for building your job board. Once you've clicked that link down below in the description, it'll bring you to this page here and you can start your 14 day free trial today. So let's go ahead and click start free trial for 14 days. Let's go ahead and give our job board a name and then it wants us to select our company type and our company size. Also, let's go ahead and enter our full name here and our email address. Let's go ahead and enter a password here too and accept the terms of service and go to sign up and continue once you're finished. Now it gives you the option to choose your plan. Now it's going to charge you this after your 14 day free trial is up and you actually get a 20% discount if you choose the annual annual subscription fees. So the cheapest plan on the annual subscription is the $99 a month light plan. This is going to come with custom domain and free SSL, an SEO optimized job board, some customization features, as well as custom pages, a built in blogging platform. You can charge for job postings, like we said earlier for other recruiters, and it has a job scraper, but you can only use this for one source. We're going to show you the job scraper here in a second. It's a really neat tool. It also allows up to 3000 active jobs and up to 2,500 job alert subscribers. Now, if you want the standard plan or the advanced plan, they're obviously going to have higher limits for all of these features and a couple other things like AP access on this advanced plan, as well as priority support. Let's just go ahead and start our free trial with the light plan. As you can see, once we're here, we're going to have to put in a credit card, but it's not going to charge us for the first 14 days. So you can always cancel if you don't want to continue with Jboard. Let's go ahead and enter our credit card information and start our 14 day free trial. Once you're all finished with that and you have your credit card information in here, go ahead and click start 14 day free trial. 
Okay, now that you've started your free trial, this is your Jboard dashboard. And as you can see, it's very clean, seamless, and it's going to be super easy to use. We'll show you how to use it right now. They give you this very easy to use setup checklist. So the first one's already done, we created our job board. Next, we have to customize our appearance. So one thing to note before we get started here, this button is going to take us to our job board. So let's just go ahead and see what it looks like now. Okay, so this is the auto populated job board and they have a bunch of listings in here for us just as a placeholder. These are all samples and it looks very professional and this is the framework that we're going to be working from. So let's go ahead and go back to the board here and we're going to go to customize our appearance. Here you can input your logo and choose your color scheme. So let's go ahead and do that now. Once you've finished with the general settings here, you'll see under the appearance tab, there's a bunch of other things that you can go through here, like website header and hero section. So you can add menu items here if you like that will appear on your job board. Next is the website footer that we can change here. As you can tell, everything is very simple and easy to figure out. So we're not gonna go through every single item here. Just go ahead and play around with the appearance, but let's go ahead and go back to the main dashboard to see what else we need to do for our account. So now that we've customized our appearance, let's go ahead and view our job board, which it tells us how to do that. We did that earlier, that's good. You can update the hero section which we just took a look at that's going to change the cover image so go ahead and do all that then you can also set up the pricing for your job board so let's go ahead and click on that and we can show you how this is done so this is the one that actually came as a sample and it's a single job posting billed at $99 once per year so let's just go ahead and open this and take a look at it here you can enter the description for it as well as change the price and how often you're going to charge them so you can take this down to 30 days if you want it to be a month also you could change the posting details here so if you wanted to change how fast the job post expires you can change that here and there's a couple other features here that you can adjust as well like feature employer and if you go to the pricing details here you can see that you can change it from a one-time purchase to a subscription purchase you can also make it free and then you can choose the date in which it should be used in as you can tell there's a lot of customization options here if you're going to charge people to post their job listings let's go ahead and go back to the dashboard again there's a couple other things that you can do here you can connect your stripe let's just go ahead and take a look at that it's very simple just go ahead and click that button and it'll help you connect your stripe we won't set that up right now Back on the dashboard here, you can link to your custom domain. So I can link this to my personal website if I would like, or you can just have it on Jboard's website as this link here. Here, you can also change the name of the job board, and you can also change the amount of jobs that appear on the page and some other customization features about the board. If we go back to the dashboard here, they want you to delete all the samples eventually. Let's just not do that for now because I wanna show you a couple other things about the samples. Another really important feature about Jboard is this job aggregation tab here. This is the scraper that I I was talking to you about earlier and you can aggregate jobs from a website so let's go ahead and check this out and click on the aggregators page on the top right hand corner let's go ahead and add an aggregator and the one we want to do is going to be a web page scraper so now we want to list the job url so i just went over here to dog walking in los angeles on indeed and i'm just going to copy this url here once we're finished with that go ahead and paste it here and then press start configuring web page scraper next it'll open some more options here that you can choose from so you can limit the number of active jobs or you can keep it unlimited. You can change the employer details as well as the job details here. Another neat feature is you can also filter for keywords. So let's say we just want dog walkers and not sitters. So we'll just say walkers here and we can exclude sitters. That's going to only pull the jobs that are walkers and not sitters. Once you're finished changing your settings here, you can go ahead and click create. Now, once it's created your scraper, it's going to take some time to run the scraper. Depending on how many jobs are on the site that you listed, it could take a while. Let's go ahead and give that a few minutes and then come back to it later but i wanted to show you one more thing in the job aggregation tab so let's go to the auto tagger now let's go to add rule now just note that this auto tag feature is only going to be available for enterprise plans but on our 14 day free trial we get to try it out so let's go ahead and name this plan and let's say we want to set aside all the sitters from that link that we had so let's go ahead and name this sitters and then you can select the job field here we'll go ahead and just choose job title now that we've named our rule sitters let's go ahead and just select job title here and then we want to just say contain so if the job titles on the link that we had contain sitters then it's going to be good for us so we're naming this job title sitters and as long as it contains the word sitters then it's going to be good you can also do the opposite here so if you wanted to just pull this for walkers and everything that doesn't contain sitters then you can just change the name to walkers here go to does not contain and then put sitters okay let's go back and go Go under job aggregation and go to aggregators and see what the status of our scraper is okay so as we can see this is going to scrape every 24 hours and we can see that it scraped a total of one job so let's go ahead and click here and see what that job was great so we got one job listing from that for a dog walker and pet sitter obviously you want to make sure that your link has more than that one option that you're scraping but this is just to show you so let's go ahead and set up this dog walker and pet sitter on our page to do that let's go ahead and click jobs and you'll see that it's here at the top so let's go ahead and see if we 
can see this job listing on our site. Let's go ahead and click dog walking. If we scroll to the bottom here, these are all of these samples, as you can tell, that came with Jboard. But if we scroll all the way to the bottom and go to browse all jobs and then scroll down to the bottom again and go to the second page and scroll down to the bottom again, we'll see at the very bottom, which is going to be the first one on our job board, we'll see at the very bottom is our dog walker job here. And we can go ahead and click apply and that'll bring us to the Indeed page. Now, obviously you're going to want to take off all of these samples once you understand how this works. And the easy way to do that is just to go back to the dashboard and click delete samples here. Similarly to jobs, you also have employers that are going to show up and it's just going to take the employer off of each job listing so you can aggregate them here. So as you can see, a company like Slack, it's aggregated all seven of the jobs that we have as sample jobs on our site under that one Slack company. Next, you have email subscriptions. We currently don't have any, but those will pop up here. And then under monetization, we showed you earlier how to set up that pricing, but everything for monetization features like analytics will pop up here. You can also build custom pages. They have a privacy policy and terms of service that come with Jboard, but you can build your own here. And then there's also a blogging platform here and you can do blog posts. They actually have some sample ones here that are really neat. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of those. So best colleges for information technology, and it has a picture and a bunch of information here. Go ahead and change those. And if you click again on your website and you scroll down, those are going to pop up at the very bottom here. So that's a really neat feature about Jboard. And then again, this is also very easy and intuitive to change. If you go down to taxonomy here, you can change the types of jobs. So full-time, part time and contract and you can add some more if you like there too. Jboard also has this tools and widgets page and SEO tools. We won't go into too much detail here. You're probably not going to need these just starting out. And they also are the features for the advanced and enterprise plans. So they're really not going to be for beginners starting out. The last section we want to show you here is the job board settings. So let's go ahead and click on that. We went through a couple of these at the beginning of the video, but let's go ahead and show you the email templates. Go ahead and click on that. This is also a really neat feature about Jboard. They have a bunch of email templates here. So every Everything from abandoned checkout reminder to email job notification, job confirmation, job rejection, everything is here. And if you click on one, let's go ahead and click on the order confirmation. It already has a template that's all set up for you to go. This is a really neat feature. It comes with all of these active pre-made templates and you can change them to however you like. Here you can also manage your team members and add more people if you need to. And then lastly here, you can also go to team members and add more people to your team if you need to. Now that we've showed you the Jboard platform, before we give you our recommendation, let's just talk about how it compares to some of its competitors. In terms of pricing, Jboard is about middle of the pack. There are more expensive options like Niceboard that start out at $149 per month and Jboard is only $125 per month for their lowest plan if you're paying monthly. And then there are also more affordable options like Jboardly where you pay $247 one time. In terms of that middle of the pack pricing, Jboard is a really great option for all of the features that you're getting. Let's briefly go over some pros and cons of Jboard before we give you our final thoughts. One of the main advantages of Jboard is the ease of use. Their dashboard is very seamless and easy to use. The software doesn't require any code or any additional software services. Everything is very simple to edit on the page and you do not have to have used a website before. Jboard did an amazing job of really making this a super user-friendly platform. And the functionality of Jboard really can't be beat. With their unique scraper option that has a lot of customization, it's really a great tool. It's going to allow you to automate a lot of the job posting process. And really the only drawback to Jboard is that it is a subscription model versus a company like Jobboardly, which is a one-time payment. But for all the features that you're getting with Jboard, it's really not too much of a compromise. Especially if you're a recruiter or a large business and you have tons of job postings that you need to list, then Jboard is going to be a great option for you. That is our review of Jboard. It is one of the best job board builders in 2024 with the amazing functionality of their dashboard, the no code platform and an affordable annual price compared to some of its other competitors. It is one of your best options for job board builders in 2024. We'll leave that link to Jboard down below in the description, so be sure to check that out. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like it, please leave us a like and subscribe down below. And lastly, this channel is dedicated to providing business owners and entrepreneurs like yourself with free videos and tutorials like this one. So thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best on your entrepreneurship journey, and we will see you in the next video.